Hey, what's up? This is Heavyweight Bit here showing you how I'm using my Nintendo controller ports as a power supply. Uh, apparently, there's about 5 volts DC coming out of each port. Um, so, what I did was I took this Nintendo cable on one end, and here's the other end. Just made it as a typical power connector. Let me just plug this in real quick, show you how it works. Alright, so what's going on now is that uh, I'm going to be pulling about 5 volts DC out of control port number 2, and that hopefully will be powering this screen. So as soon as we turn on Nintendo, you'll see the screen comes on as well. Um, just to show you it's being powered by this port, if I unplug it, the screen goes off. Plug it back in, bam, screen goes on. Alright, um, so I wanted to push this and see how far I can go, and um, wanted to see if I can also power the Game Boy uh, using the same idea. So what I did in the back here, just made a quick cable here, that left part that's negative, and this here is positive, just a piece of metal taped to a pen cap, hooked up to a wire, and then I set up the um, same thing here, got the wire jack, one of these power things, this way I could just set it up so I could just plug right in, like so, and now as you see, the Nintendo is on. So all this is being powered right now, the screen and the Game Boy out of control port number two. Um, cool thing is, cool thing is that if I press reset, the screen is uh, goes off, but the Game Boy still stays on, as you can see here. Um, if basically if I press power, that's going to shut off the Game Boy and the screen because they're all hooked up to the Nintendo. So right now. If I turn that back on, screen goes on, Game Boy is on, and it's all being controlled here out of port number two. Alright, 